I think photos are the best thing ever. Uh, you look back on things, the only way to remember them now is, well, we have so many cameras and everything available. Started in Philly, minus 110. <laughs> Not quite, but it felt like it. This is the first day we got left behind in the hotel. We had a recovery day instead of training and it was absolutely boiling in the pool area. I absolutely sweating and then all the girls came in from training and everybody literally was frozen to, to absolute statues. They scared me about, I didn't leave the hotel for the next two days until I absolutely had to, to go to training. Obviously, one of the best things about football is the places you get to go, going to the rocky steps. Like I say, not necessarily something that you'd specifically go on holiday for, but just cool to be able to fit a little bit of, little bit of each city into to our training and stuff. Shot Kira with a, another pose. I don't think there's a picture without her with a hand like this. Moved on to Nashville, which was really cool. I'm a big country music fan, so Nashville was the winner for me. I'm going back at the end of the summer, so uh, that's how much I liked it. Tony giving it the big and pretending she's uh, she knows how to do that. And then finished in Tampa, which was a little bit warmer, so never a bad thing. Me with my bib still in the back of my shorts, which means I'm winning. I feel like everybody takes pictures when they're happy and it's sunny, so there's loads of tamper in here. I think this is the point when everybody realises it's 30 degrees outside and you've got to run around. This is the huddle that we do before every training session, every, uh, every game, good to come together, share the thoughts in the session. This is nice. Obviously all the stadiums as well were like amazing just to fit with the you know how many people obviously so many people want to come and watch the US national team um, wherever you go so all the stadiums were pretty grand which was nice it gives it a good feel gives it a good World Cup feel. My favourite stadium was actually Tampa because of the uh, giant pirate ship on one of the stand sides yet yeah, not something I've seen in English football a bit different. Playing before the US the, the stadium started to fill up as you played but when we played the US in um, Nashville. That was pretty special just because of the crowd really and how it's, you know, they're, they're so noisy, they're so engaged, I suppose, which is a good thing for women's football. So yeah, that was unbelievable. Even just being on the bench, you sort of take it in a, a lot more, I suppose. So yeah, that was uh, that was special. But we literally had, uh, as a woman up, there was three, I could really, really hear English accents. Um, so it's always nice to know that in and amongst the, the crowd, there was always somebody for us, so yeah. I took a camera with some creative ideas and nobody was on board with my creative ideas, so it was like trying to get blood out of a stone with the girls. I always love taking pictures, like I say, I just wish that if somebody was going to take one of me, it wasn't blurry, so I at least show me mum. I mean, I've had it pretty easy, haven't I? I've come straight in, first she believes, and we won it. As time goes on, you get your first call up, even since the World Cup in Canada, I've just always wanted to be involved, because you can tell how successful the team's going to be and the way that the you know, we're going um, on our journey, like absolutely powering uphill. So I've always wanted to be involved. So to go and actually win was obviously amazing. And to play a part, you know, it's always nice to, to get on the pitch and, and sort of, yeah, play your role for the team. We treated it almost like the third group game at the World Cup. So we treated it like we needed to get all three points to go through in the best sort of um, way. I always get really nervous anyway. Um, it's a good thing when I'm nervous, it means I'm focused and that I care, obviously. But then literally the first couple of minutes when the girls obviously had an unbelievable start, so nerves like settled straight down and just get the job done. That's what it always turns into. But obviously preparation was as good as it could be, as it always is here. Um, no stone left unturned, so I felt prepared. I was just obviously nervous always, as you always will be when you have to win. And these are celebration pictures. Nothing too crazy, but obviously feeling good in the changing room. Smiles on everyone's faces. Standard putting the trophy in the car seat picture. Making sure it gets back all right. <laughs> this is how you celebrate winning the tournament, a giant cookie. I think Lucy actually saved this until the morning after to just make it last longer and enjoy it. This one kills me. I think the Spice Girls might have been playing at this point. You'll have to ask Georgia. This is a shame. This is the one time that I actually got pictures taken of me and shock it's blurry because nobody knows how to use the cameras. We're waiting for Phil to, he said that he wanted to come in and talk to us after the Japan game, after we'd won, so before we all started getting ready. We just had loads of time to kill, so just got my Sudoku book out. Uh, had a little bit of a flip through. 
like I say, it's all cra crazy celebrations. Yeah, it's a bit surreal because you can't really celebrate. You, you celebrate for, for straight after the game and obviously you enjoy that because you've worked hard for 10 days and all the preparation that goes into it beforehand. But obviously we know that that's not the real deal yet. Um, so it's just another stepping stone. So it's like literally next day back to business. Um, but definitely when you, when you win something, you work so hard to tick boxes and win it, it would be a shame to ignore it. But as soon as it's done, it's like, right, on to the next one. It doesn't really matter where you're playing, you want to win every game that you play. So it doesn't matter if it's a tournament or not, but obviously coming in to a tournament environment where you somebody is going to win, um, you want that to be to be you. Three really good cities um, that we visited and to obviously win is never a bad thing, so yeah. Just rocked up and took home a trophy for the first one, which I'm very grateful for. I think the trip as a whole was just really good. Good for the team, good to progress, and then good to get like a little mini tournament or group games in under our belt. So yeah.